We easily throw away 40% of the food we buy because we aren't storing it correctly. Plus, we're overbuying on top of all that, and no one better than our own Marilyn Smith. We love her to help us out. Good morning, Mayor. I'm so happy to hear because this is a subject near and dear to my heart. I 40%. hate food waste. Ah, I know. So I'm going to ask you some skill testing questions. You buy your apples. Do you put them in the pretty basket out like they show on uh, magazines, or do you put them in a uh, plastic bag in the fridge? Plastic bag in the fridge. Yeah, ding, ding. Dang. You got a point. That is nobody knows that. That's so good. Leave them in the bag that they come in, or if you buy them loose, put them in a plastic bag. Okay. Okay. So you buy berries. These are Ontario hothouse berries right now. Uh, do you leave them in this container, or do you put them into another container? I leave them in the container. No. Okay. So oh, that's why they go bad. I know they go bad really fast. And this is something I discovered. It's called Freshworks, and uh, it all keeps all your produce fresher, but especially berries. What's the difference? There, it's got this vent thing in it, and there's a little tray that it sits on, and they last. The, the strawberries themselves will last 80 percent longer. So that's going to save you a lot of money oh, okay you don't turn into slime ba basil do you store it in the refrigerator in a plastic bag yeah, or I not get this one right okay no you don't put it in the fridge because it's a hot it's a tropical plant you do it like a flower and you put it in a little vase of water and if you've got too much air conditioning on your house right now that's going to be over soon you put a little tent on it like make a little greenhouse and that is going to last so much longer goes into the fridge turns brown and then it's like ugh, slime every time i do this it wilts after six hours do you have enough water did you do a fresh cut no, do fresh, fresh cut. cut. It's like a flower, right? Got it. Because it's sealed over once it's been cut. Okay. Okay, good. Do you put your whole grain uh, bread in the fridge to keep it fresher or not? I do f a freezer and fridge. Freezer and no fridge. Do no not fridge. put bread in the fridge. It actually accelerates going stale. Oh. But you could keep it in the freezer for uh, well six months. It's fine. Okay, but what about okay. for people who don't have the time to defrost it? Do you keep it on the No, countertop? so what I, so what, well, we go through bread a lot. So, but when my son left, we only go through half, so I freeze half the loaf and then bring the other on. Yeah, so I fresh out and then the other half's in the freezer. On the counter? On the, on the counter. Okay. On the counter. Okay. Mushrooms, do you leave them out on the counter, put them in the fridge? What do you do fridge, with them? Fridge, paper bag. Paper bag in a fridge. Ding, ding. Yeah, those are, you got the two most. You got the two hardest ones right. Excellent. It's going to last long. It's going to be able to breathe, and they won't go slimy. Okay. You know that the vegetable drawer they call yes. it the slimer. Yeah. Ew. Okay. Tomatoes on the counter in the fridge. I'm going to say on the counter. Yes. Yes. Oh, people who put them in the fridge, they go mealy. Okay, yeah. so and don't buy over buy because they're all going to get ripe at the same time, and that applies to avocados counter. as well. Counter and then when they get ripe, put them fridge. in the fridge. Right. Uh, a whole squash. Fridge. No. Uh, on the counter, when you cut it, it goes into the fridge. Why? Okay, they don't like to be that cold. They go cold storage, but the fridge is too cold for cold storage. Okay. Okay, cool, dark place. Okay. Just to talk about potatoes and onions and garlic, don't keep them in the same place, but they should be all in a cool, dark place, but separately. Why? So, because they, they give off gases that, that speed the other guys up to ripen. Oh, good So you know. don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, now let's get into the, 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 the condiments. Okay, so the, let's talk about the best before date. This is really important. So this, this best before date on this uh, ketchup is May 2018, okay? Yeah. Now, if I open that today, would it last until May 2018? No, because once you open it, it's exposed to air. Yes, and okay. this is what everybody gets wrong. They go, it's opened, and it's been on their, in their refrigerator for like a year, and they go, but it's still good, because it's not, no, that, that becomes null and void as soon as you open it. So let your eyes and ears and mouth do the knowing. If it smells funky, looks weird. Oh, if it smells funky, you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, seriously, by then it's so bad. It's like, you're dead and and you know what actually that brings up a really good question because a lot of people can eat stuff that's gone bad and it doesn't do anything to them but if you've got small children elderly someone with a compromised immune system they're the ones that are going to get sick you're right so you've got to be really careful now ketchup do you think it goes in the fridge or on the counter fridge yes now a lot of people leave this out on the on the counter for you can for up to a month but it it goes bad fast so you're not going to get sick it mm. just the product starts to break down and maybe i don't store buy the this huge ones don't buy the huge ones that brings up a huge one okay so um, uh, mayonnaise, how long do you think it lasts in the fridge opened? Like six months? Two months. That's it. And so if you're buying this big honking bottle, then it, it and you're not going to use it up, then you've actually wasted your money. So smaller is better. Oh my gosh, okay. we ran out of time. We ran so out of, oh my God, do you want me to come back? Your, can you come back? I'll come back with this okay, stuff. she's going to come back. This is too good. Too much oh, information. Yeah, too Make much. sure you follow Mayor at Marilyn Smith and check out her awesome, hilarious, and entertaining YouTube channel. It's called My, my Left, Left Frying Pad. Pad. <laughs> Love you. Over to you, Tara. <laughs>